Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and today we are going to solve one more problem from limits. Limit x tending to pi by 2 cos x divided by pi minus 2x. Again as we can see our limit is in variable x and this variable is tending to a non-zero quantity which is pi by 2. So I have already discussed a problem. Uh, dealing with uh, this type of limits and what we do in this type of cases uh, generally we take uh, something will be there in the problem which you can substitute as other variable so other variable let's say h so let's take pi minus 2x as h so we'll have to write everything in terms of h so we'll have to replace x wherever it is present by in terms of h. So for that I want x in terms of h. So for that pi minus h equals to 2x or pi by 2 minus h by 2 equals to x. So I have got uh, this which I have x in terms of h. Now another thing as x tending to pi by 2. I am I have gone back to this. So when x tending to pi by 2, uh, focus on this now. When x tending to pi by 2, pi, put pi by 2 in this. So pi minus 2 times pi by 2, which is pi minus pi 0. So in that case, h will tend to 0. So that's uh, what our main focus was to again get back a uh, limit where variable is tending to zero. So now we are successful in that. So limit instead of x tending to pi by 2, now we have this h tending to zero. Again cos x. So x we can replace by pi by 2 minus h by 2. And in denominator we have pi minus 2x which I can easily replace by h cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So this can be written as limit h tending to 0 sin h by 2 divided by h. Only thing which I have to do now is to make h by 2 in denominator also. For that I have to divide and multiply by 2 and that 2 I can take out. So 1 by 2 limit h tending to 0 sin h by 2 divided by same h by 2. So you know that this limit will give you 1. So your final answer is half times 1 which is half because you know limit x tending to 0 sin mx by mx is 1. So variable is x, variable is x that doesn't matter, the value of limit does not change so you get half as your answer. Fine. Can there be another way to solve this? Uh, we can write limit x tending to pi by 2. I can write cos x as sin 90 minus x. I can take 2 common from denominator. I will get pi by 2 minus x. Now I can easily take this 2 out. So 1 by 2 limit x tending to pi by 2 sin pi by 2 minus x this will give you 1 so you again get half as your answer so this is another method to solve this we should be ready uh, another one more method is there if you want uh, we can discuss that also because if you look at the form at x tending to pi by 2 it is a 0 by 0 form so 
so we can use the L'Hospital rule, L hospital rule. So limit x tending to pi by 2, we can separate it, differentiate numerator and denominator. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Derivative of pi minus 2x is minus 2. At x tending to pi by 2, sin pi by 2 is 1. So you get 1 by 2 as your answer from here. Also. So there you saw uh, techniques can be uh, different, but the answer you got is same. So next time when you see uh, the variable tending to a non-zero quantity, apply this technique. There will be something in the problem which you can substitute as let's say h or t, then uh, uh, find uh, x in terms of that variable, here x in terms of h and apply this as x tending to pi by 2, your h will tend to 0, find a different limit and you can now then solve that limit easily. So that's it from my site, do visit my playlist for more such problems, thanks and have a nice day.